everybody uh this is paul and this is my second video for the ninja trader tutorial for beginners so uh we've gone through just a quick sort of rough idea in the in the in the intro in the first video now i want to go through some settings for data and then let's put on an order okay uh, so first of all one of the things i've noticed with uh, ninja trader now it's a little bit different for me because I've got Kinetic and Ninja Trader Continuum. So Ninja Trader Continuum is the, 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 the data provider that I've chosen during that sign-up process for, um, for futures. Now, the Kinetic one is connected to my uh, the other license that I have for, for developers. So one of the things is when you start up, it remembers what you're connected to at the beginning. So... Uh, I get conflict between Kinetic and Ninja Trader Continuum. If you are, if your charts aren't showing properly or something's not quite right, once you go on, go to connections up here on your main um, portal, uh, press disconnect and then connect again to the, the data provider that you've uh, chosen. That way you're getting, getting your live data. And again, Ninja Trader Continuum. It's about 12 bucks uh, a month. Again, another business cost, okay? You, this trading is a business. So what I'm looking for now is I'm going to put a trade on, but first of all, I'm just going to go big on this chart on M MNQ. I want to show you something that's happening right now. So you can see here, if I just zoom out, zoom in a little bit, we've got the Europe. This is the Europe gold open. This is the London stock exchange open. This is the 15-minute chart for M2K, which is the RTY. Now, we've got a major support and resistance zone here. See the support after the New York Stock Exchange opened back here last week? And then again, uh, resistance here, resistance on the European and London Open here. So this is a big price. This is something that, uh, you know, you would like to trade the breakout, uh, really. And one of the things we're going to be looking at here, so uh, just a quick one. The way I've moved this chart is I can move up and down or side to side on there. But if I'm going to move the chart, if I want to grab hold and move this around, I have to press Control and Shift. And then uh, when I'm pressing that, I can move the mouse around. I can do this sort of thing. So we look at the. This is the London Stock Exchange candle here. This is the opening range, if you like. And I would like to go long above there. So uh, I'm just going to change my crosshairs now to local so I can see the price. So I'm looking at probably a 2188.1. If, if it goes through and breaks through there, I could look for a long here because it's breaking out of that London opening range. And when we looked left uh, just a minute ago, we saw major support and resistance zone here. So I'm thinking if this breaks out, this could be a good trade. And I want to use this as an example. I'm not saying it's going to trigger or anything like that. But this is an example of where I want to put uh, my order. And it's going to be a stop limit order. So that means I've, I've got a stop and a limit price. But I want it to go long when it gets to that price, when it's got to the start line, if you like. So I'm just going to go short again. 2188.1 is where my order is going to be. So I've linked my chart on the top right here. The instrument link uh, is the cyan color. And you can see on my um, order ticket here, that's cyan. If I change to M6B, it's, it's yellow. So this is where I want to be on this order ticket just here. I've got N2K, and again, I'm going SIM this time because this is what you should be doing. You should be practicing putting your orders on in SIM. So I'm going to go one micro contract. Uh, I want a stop limit order. So when we click on limit here on the down arrow, I want stop limit, okay? And we set our price 21881, okay? So I'm just going to change that to 21881 in the limit price. And I'm going to put 2188.2 in the stop price. Okay, so there's one tick difference. Um, and then all I need to do is select buy. Confirm your order. Go to orders. Is it there? Okay, so yes, we've got the orders on the top here. Trigger pending. 
one thing it is not is not on my chart okay two one eight eight point one two one eight eight point two just going to go off that chart a second okay now it's not on the chart at the moment if we go to the top here where it says chart trader again this is the version this is the full version of ninja trader uh i've got a lifetime license i mean it was a bit silly buying the annual license at 700 and odd dollars when you can get the lifetime for a thousand um i want chart trader on hidden and there once you click chart trader hidden this is where it appears on there so it's going to buy it at 2188.2 okay now this is set up the order so the order's on we can check in the order screen on your main uh here top left and the instruments m2k uh that's the contract 0921 uh got a stop limit order and limit of 21881 and a stop at 2188.2 triggers pending because it's got to move through that it's got to go through the start line if you like uh to that so i've set that trade up i've gone to the actual chart and i just if i just gone to chart trader you'll see this chart on the on the right hand side there on the the trade ticket i've used the the, the trade ticket that i can move around on there to do that so i just want chart trader hidden so now well, I can see my order on the chart. And that's one of the most important things there. I've got my order on the chart. So I'm just going to pause the video here. I'm going to look for another trade and we're going to put on another, uh, another order for something. Okay, so we're going to uh, have another practice of another order. Uh, I've got the M6B, the British pound, the micro 6B here. Uh, I've had a six star buy at this point this morning, um, but it, we didn't breach this previous pivot. We have done now. Uh, and, and I'm a little bit late into this, but I want to show you the, um, to, you know, the, the way to get into this trade and the way to put the order on. So I'm just going to write down 13671. So I'm just going to write this down, and this is where my order is going to be. 1.3671 bit old so i just need to write things down sometimes okay um so this time there's my previous order uh, it's still there on okay so my order's been submitted now to buy on uh, m2k long it's broken through there and the the order is working it's not taken me in yet okay so this stop limit order has not taken me in yet. It'll probably need to come back down to 21881 uh, and then it'll take me in. If it just blasts through, I may, I may not get filled. And again, I'm on SIM, so it's slightly different to being um, on that live account, but I've just got to practice. So again, on the here, we want M6B. We're going to be SIM. We want to stop limit. We're going to buy. Okay. We need it uh, 1367.2 now. So I'm going to stop 672. Okay. On the stop, on the limit price, sorry, on the stop, I'm going to go three. So 13672, 13673, and I'm going to buy. Okay. Okay, so my order is now being filled on uh, the M2K, so I'm in. My uh, order on M6B is on. You can see it on the chart there. The next thing I want to do is I put the order on. I've now been taken into this trade. Okay, I now need to place a stop. Um, one thing you want to do on this one is you go to your open positions. Uh, Okay, so the order's now been submitted on the M6B. Okay, again, it's not been filled yet. Now, in the open positions on M2K, if I highlight that, right-click and apply an ATM strategy. What I'm going to do at the moment is just show you how I'm going to apply that, adjust the stop, and then in another video, I'm going to show you how to put the defaults. And this is the only way to put a stop loss and a take profit on there. So I'm just going to apply what I've 
predefined as ATM2. And you can see that's where the stop comes in there. So what I've done is um, you can't just click and put a stop on a ninja trader. It's one of the downsides for me. Uh, they want you to put these strategies together. That's fine. But for me, uh, I want to protect my account as soon as I put a trade on. So one of the things I want to do there is I put it way out of the way. But my re my stop really is just below this pivot at 2179. So if I just click and drag that up just below there, okay, and then click again, it suggested my stop loss to that point. Very, very, very simple. So now, if I also look down again, control and shift, there will be a take profit order all the way up there. Okay. Is that sensible? Okay. Let's have a look. Where's the next major resistance? It's probably just here. Okay. That's my next major resistance. So if it does push through, that's good. But in reality, if I just draw that on, yeah. Uh, we've got a big support on there, big resistance there. Okay, so we've got, that's got a lot of work to do. So if I just grab hold of that and put it in that, just at the bottom of that there, whoops, grab again, just into the bottom of that there. I've adjusted my take profit limit order. Now the risk to reward on this is still pretty good. Um, if we work that out with a with a fib extension so we go to fib extensions here uh I click once on the stop once on the entry there and the second time on the entry and then i want to just adjust I'm just going to put some fib levels in there um there we go so price levels I want to adjust some of these. Let's let's put this at 1.61, 1.6. I want to put that one at 200, and I'm going to put that one at 300. Apply, and as you can see here, this is our risk, so we're risking one to a potential of nearly one to three. So risk reward is still pretty good on this trade. Um, so we're going to let that run. That's on. Uh, my limit order has not been filled yet on 6B. So that's where we are with that. But if I go to my open position still here, we can see this is minus $7, the pre and L right now. Uh, we can go to orders. We can see um, we've got, um, let me just make that a little bit bigger. So we've got one that's working for the 6B here. It's not been filled yet. We can see the buy limit order has been filled for M2K. We've got the stop accepted. And uh, obviously, this is working for, uh, for, the, for the take profit limit order right there. Uh, so those are on. Those looking good. Just adjust that up a little bit here now. OK. Go back to open positions, and that's where we are right now. So again, we almost we whenever we go into a trade, we've got a stop in mind here. Let me just take that off a second. Okay, so my order's now been filled for the six E. Okay, the, the the micro six B. Sorry, so that's now been filled. You can see that's coming the um, the open orders now, the positions. So I want to put a stop in there. I'm going to right click on the 6B and I'm going to put apply ATM strategy two. OK. We go big on the chart. And we can see the stops all the way down there out of the way. But again, when I'm looking at this, I've looked at this six star buy here. That's the previous pivot. So that's where I want to be. So I'm going to click. I'm going to drag just underneath there. I'm going to click again. And that's my stop just underneath that pivot. My take profit is all the way up. So again, I've got to consider 
this support and resistance here there's another one at this point let's just go left slightly oh that's quite a strong one actually um i think you know with that as well that's where we need to be on our take profit so i'm going to click i'm going to drag that just underneath that one i think the other one's a little bit small uh, and that's where we go from there again we can work out those risk to rewards as well that's important okay where's our risk to reward so we go to the little pencil we use the fib extensions here click once on the stop second time on the entry third time on the entry now you can then click properties go to template as well uh, and again i'm going to put that risk reward. i've already made one of them i will make a video showing you how to make those templates click load click apply and there you go we're around one to 1.5 to that first bit of resistance quite small uh, and then we are sort of one to two one to three to that next lot to where we want to take profit so we've got a great risk reward on there as well just going to delete that again okay so we've got two trades on there okay we're on sim we've practiced putting the orders on uh, we've practiced putting the stops and the take profits on there we've got the chart trade on right now and as you can see they are running we've got two open trades the orders that we've got on again now will be the stops and the take profits i can just move that around whoops okay and you will be able to see that we've got the stop for 6b and we've got the stop for m2k just here and then they're working orders for, for the take profits there so everything's on and we've gone through that process and we've gone through that process on sim and we'll continue to go through that process until we are happy as traders that we've got it down we're getting where we where we want to enter with those stop limit orders uh, and um you know we we can then manage those trades so these trades are in we've gone through the setting up the stop limit orders uh, we've put the stops on my next video that I'm going to make will be how to put those ATM strategies together just just so you, you've got it in there so you can put your stop on as soon as it's gone in because you need to protect your account as well okay hopefully that helps and speak to you all really soon